Melanie the Vampire Loving Dork here with a special vlog today for a blog tour that is being hosted over on Susan Harris's website. It is all about book boyfriends, book girlfriends and authors thoughts about them and although I'm not technically an author I do have thoughts about them so she very kindly asked me to make a little post so here it is. You see lots of things around where people are talking about various book boyfriends which are people that they like that are the fictional characters in their favourite books. I don't actually have any book boyfriends. I have hundreds and hundreds of book characters that I am in love with, love to read about them, I love who they end up with. For example, the vampire Lestat, absolutely adore everything to do with him, have read his stories several times. There's Bones from the Janine Frost Night Huntress series, absolutely adore him, but I wouldn't really think of either of them as a book boyfriend. When I talk about the characters, I would love to meet them, would love to hang out in a bar with them, but I never think of them as potential partners in a book boyfriend way. You see posts where people talk about having several book boyfriends and which book boyfriend is the best. I can honestly say that I never related to any of those until recently. Kristen Painter has come up with two characters that I could potentially refer to as book boyfriends. The first is actually just in a novella called Dead Man's Hand. His name is Ares. You should definitely check it out. This story is not even 200 pages long but I am absolutely addicted to it and I have asked Kristen Painter numerous times to please write more with him in it even though really I could never be a girlfriend because he would kill me quite literally because he can't touch anybody apart from the person that he ends up with but that's okay. The only other candidate, if I didn't have my wonderful husband, would be Grayson Garrett. He is a new character from Kristen Painter. You can meet him in Miss Frost Solves a Cold Case, which is a new series that spins off of her very popular Nocturne Falls books. If you haven't read those, I will actually put a link to book one in the description because book one is free as an ebook right now. Grayson Garrett was pretty much written for me. I do a lot of work with Kristen Painter and she discussed his character as he was forming and I said, oh my goodness, he is literally what I envision as the perfect character. He's a vampire. She describes him as looking sort of like Johnny Depp in my head. He actually looks more like Aiden Turner from the Being Human Vampire series or if you watch Poldark, he looks like the guy obviously Aiden Turner that plays Pole Dark. He runs a nightclub, he can go out in the day, he's a gypsy and he smells like cinnamon which is my favourite smell in the whole world. Crazy, right? So, do you have a book boyfriend? Do you have someone that you would say yes that is my ideal book boyfriend? Obviously you can have lots, you may have none. Maybe you're like me and you just like the fictional characters in their fictional worlds with their fictional partners, which is fine too. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you, Susan, for hosting me on your blog. If you are watching this on my YouTube channel, make sure you hop over and say hi on her blog post as well. I know she would love to see you. If you check through my other videos, you will see that I actually did a review recently for her Skin and Bones book, which I highly, highly recommend, like a paranormal criminal mind. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please do all the fun YouTube things, like, subscribe, and yes, leave me comments, plenty of comments, things you want to see, things about book boyfriends, all comments, always welcome. And I will see you next time.